Assalamualaikum and hi everyone Once again So uh, in this video We're gonna go into Inductive argument So three learning outcomes We're gonna cover to, uh, In this video First one is to determine and justify The strength Okay so the difference between inductive and deductive adalah deductive kita nak determine and justify validity tapi in inductive kita refer kepada strength okay and then the second one kita nak determine strong argument dia cogent or not Strength ni dia akan ada weak dengan strong lah So hanya strong argument Kita akan determine sama ada dia cogent or not Okay So ni adalah Dia baru lagi Di Dalam deduktif Selepas kita dah tahu validity Kita akan determine sound Tetapi dalam inductif Kita determine cogent Alright And then lastly kita akan form A strong inductive argument So, berbeza dengan deductif, deductif kita form a valid deductive argument. Tapi, dalam inductif adalah to form a strong inductive argument. Okay, so we'll go into 1 and 2 together. Eh. Alright, so this is macam kita minda lah. Okay, so when you have an argument... Kita akan tentukan sama ada dia strong ataupun weak based on conclusion. Okay. Bila conclusion dia true. So, truth value when the conclusion is true. Then, it is a strong argument. If it's a false conclusion, then dia adalah weak. Automatically, dia not cogent. Alright. Bila strong. To determine sama ada dia cogent atau tidak. When all premise dia tu adalah true. Termasuk conclusion lah. So everything true baru kita kata dia cogent. Kalau ada salah satu daripada premises dia false. Then it becomes not cogent. So it's similar to deductive. Di mana kita nak identify sama ada dia sound ataupun tidak. Okay. It's a bit similar. Cuma... In this case, kita guna perkataan cogent. Tetapi dalam deductif, kita guna perkataan sound. Alright. So, let's look to two examples. Right. So, tadi untuk menentukan sama ada dia strong or weak, kita pergi kepada conclusion. Sama ada true ataupun false. Okay. Let's look. Example one. The first one. A. Conclusion says all multiples of 5 and with digit 0 or 5. Okay, so we can tengok multiples of 5, 5, 10, and then multiples of 5 lagi apa? 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. So everything either ends with 0 ataupun 5. Jadi, this is true. Okay, jadi sekarang it is a strong inductive. Okay, dia adalah strong inductive argument. Now, let's look at premise 1. 11 times 5, 55. Yes, true. And then 12 times 5, 60. Yes, it is also true. So, since dia adalah true, true and true. So, all premises are true. So, strong and cogent. Inductive argument. Okay. So, tu kita determine. So, dia strong and then dia cogent juga. Alright, let's look at B. So, B, let's look at conclusion. We have to look at conclusion first. All prime numbers are divisible by 1 and itself. Okay, prime numbers. Okay, bukan odd numbers. Huh? Prime numbers are divisible by 1 and itself. Yes, it's true. So, this is strong. 
Okay, let's look at premise 1. 1 is a prime number. Hmm, no, this is false. 2 is a prime number. Yes, it's true. 3 is a prime number. Yes. 5 is a prime number. Yes. So, bila kita tengok, now we have false. The rest is true. Jadi, dia strong, but not cogent. Okay. Sebab dia ada false. Oh. So, dia ada false statement. In one of the premises. Jadi, automatically it's not cogent. Okay. So, that's how you do it. So, you identify conclusion first. Conclusion dulu. Sama dia true atau false. Sekiranya conclusion ni false, automatically dia weak and not cogent. Straight away. So, bila dia true, then strong. And then kita tengok truth value untuk premise yang lain. Okay. Alright. Now, let's look at the third learning outcome kita. Macam mana kita nak form a strong inductive argument. So, strong maksudnya dia punya conclusion must be true. Okay. So, soalan dia very straightforward. You have seen it before actually. So, form a strong inductive conclusion for each of the following number sequences. So, diberi kepada kamu sequence. Tapi, dia tulis juga kat bawah ni. Mana datang nombor-nombor tersebut. Okay. So, ni sequence kita. You see, it's the same kan? 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.125, 0 0.0625. And then, ini dia tunjukkan mana datang. Okay. So, you have to remember, inductive adalah datang daripada specific statement to general statement. Jadi, ini semua adalah specific. So, nak tukar kepada general, kita kena buat general formula lah. Okay, just tengok yang sebelah kanan ni je. So, apa yang sama is 0 0.5. So, everything that is uh, the same, kita kekalkan. So, tulis kat bawah 0 0.5. So, in bracket. Now, yang bertukar adalah nombor power. So, letak S sebagai N. And then, you comma. Tu je eh. Jangan ada equal or anything. Jangan letak equal. So, comma n is equal to, di start dengan 1. So, n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. And then, mesti ada 3 dot kat belakang. Okay. So, itu kita punya conclusion. Okay, so conclusion kita adalah in bracket 0 0.5 to the power of n where n is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4 and then ada 3 dot kat belakang. So that's it. That's your answer. Okay, let's look at B. So B sequence dia 0, 9, 24 and 45. So, sebelah kiri sama sequence kita. So, let's look at sebelah kanan saja. So, yang berubah. If you can see, yang change ni kat dalam ni sebenarnya. Okay. So, follow apa yang sama. So, 3 in bracket. 2 minus 3. So, dalam bracket tu tukar dia kepada N. Okay, and then comma. So, N kita mula dengan yang pertama adalah 1, 2, 3, 4, comma, 3 titik di belakang. So, this is my conclusion. Okay. So, simple. So, sudah terjadi daripada specific statement, specific. Saya dah menghasilkan satu general statement. So, dari daripada specific kepada general. So, this is my conclusion. So, this is a strong inductive conclusion. Sebab kita follow daripada specific. Okay, so that's it lah. So, it covers. 
So how to determine and justify strength is adalah berdasarkan conclusion. So nak tahu dia cogent ataupun tidak is that make sure every premises are true. And then to form a strong inductive argument, so kita just follow kita punya sequence. Okay, and then make sure jangan lupa untuk letak tiga dot at the end. So there is no equal di dalam kita punya general statement ni. Alright, hanya dekat end ni saja ada equal. Alright, so that's it for uh, inductive argument. Bye class.